His home is like a museum. Believe me, we just selected a, a kind of a representative portion of a lot of memorabilia we had, but all these have meaning to me in, in one form or nation, or meaning to Diane. Filled with achievements, treasures, and memories gathered over a lifetime in the Army. From pictures of homes lived in across the world. But I really enjoyed this house here, which was also at Fort McPherson. To gifts from fellow so soldiers. A Korean soldier and an American soldier standing shoulder to shoulder. Which is These are the fun. things General Charles Hondo Campbell Remarkable. holds dear. The bottom one was given to me uh, when I completed my service as the commanding general of 8th Army. All symbols of his 40 years of service. Oh, no, that's very exceptional. I was the longest serving general officer in the Army when I retired. General Campbell joined the Army in the midst of the Vietnam War. What I went into the Army to do was to serve. And stayed through four decades. I never really considered getting out of the Army. He saw big changes, battles on numerous fronts, and retired as the 17th commander of FORSCOM, the Army's largest command. My responsibility is really associated with providing the forces, training, deploying, the forces that were subsequently employed by the combatant commanders in Iraq and Afghanistan. And he's not finished yet. I would have been happy to continue to serve, and that is in part why I do continue to serve, albeit in a different capacity. General Campbell is a senior mentor for commanding officers here and abroad. You know, at some point, one generation has to hand off responsibilities to the spirited and capable hands of another generation. Continuing the support he received over the years. The essence of the Army is people, people who care for each other and who invest in each other. Putting God, country, and his comrades before himself. I've been blessed with marvelous comrades at every level. Dedicated, competent, committed men that have sat from the same canteen cup, that have endured the same rigors of the campaign trail, and, and who have been the source of wonderful support and encouragement. A leader, helping make America the nation she is today. We built an army that became the premier fighting force in the world. A man who is truly Army strong. Leslie Draffin, NBC6 News.